Hey everyone, here's Kadri, Kitwana. I recently got the question, Kitwana, what is the weirdest and most bizarre toy that you have ever owned at some point during your childhood? So that's what we want to look at it today in this episode. And, hmm, what could it be? I can tell you it wasn't a doll, it wasn't any piece of Lion King merchandise. It wasn't a model horse, I didn't collect model horses back then anyway, and it also wasn't a Jurassic Park toy. It was something uh, completely different that I would call as my weirdest, most bizarre, and the one with the least educational value toy. And I think the award goes to this Atman set. It is basically a bear with a long range missile launcher on its back and batteries in its butt controlled by a 12 inch action figure that uh, acts as the remote control. So, how does this sound like? A bear with a long range missile launcher and batteries in its butt. So what were the designers smoking? So what we look at it today is the Action Man Mission Grizzly playset. And especially my US viewers may not know uh, Action Man as good as my friends over here in Europe. That's because the original Action Man uh, was created in 1966 in the UK as basically the European variant of Hasbro's G.I. Joe action figures that were popular in the US around that time. And the first version of uh, the Action Man uh, was in production until 1984. And then it was quiet for a long time, about a decade. And then Hasbro picked up the Action Man license Again, after the first um, Action Man was produced by a uh, British toy company called Poly Toy. And what Hasbro did, what Hasbro did was to create um, various um, adventure type 12 inch figures under the Action Man brand in its iconic orange packaging as you can see here. Um, X-Men, the second X-Men uh, figures were available from the mid-1990s until around 2006 when Hasbro ceased production and since then the, the brand is basically uh, unfortunately dead because um, I remember these toys were very, very popular in the 1990s, um, entire aisles in toy stores full of them with the easily recognizable packaging. So today I'd like to take you back to the 90s and look at one set that I had, which is the Mission Grizzly set here. I also remember I had the Polar Mission Action Man and uh, uh, another set was uh, the one with the uh, Tiger. I think it was called Tiger Mission or something like that. But today we are looking at this Mission Grizzly set, As you can see on the packaging it says electronic radio controlled and this is where the fun will begin but first um, we will uh, uh, we'll look at the box as always as you can see it uh, comes in a nice display box with the bear and a 12 inch action figure. Uh, three missiles are included as well and to give this toy uh, at least a little bit of educational value um, there's also a card um, that contains some uh, grizzly facts and uh, uh, the actual uh, story behind uh, this toy and as far as as the storyline goes with all these action products um, Let's take a look, I'd say let's take a look at the uh, 
original commercial that aired in the late 1990s for this product. Take a look. Action Man! Poison rains down from the sky! <laughs> but Action Man and his mountain bear are on patrol! He obeys all of Action Man's commands! Forward! Turn! <laughs> Charge! <laughs> then you launch the remote activated missile! Stop your grizzling axe! Action Man and his mountain bear! Okay, so basically uh, the plot is always very simple. It's always um, Action Man versus Dr. X. And I really uh, love uh, how much effort they put into this uh, commercial. And the same is true for this um, box. You can see a uh, really nice artwork with uh, Action Man and his grizzly bear. And isn't it weird that this toy is basically a bear with a uh, missile launcher on its back and batteries in its butt? I mean, uh, who did even get the idea for this? <laughs> it's pretty funny, I think. Um, the back shows an even more elaborate diorama. Um, looks like they did put a lot of effort into uh, creating this uh, photo. Uh, you can see the functions here, which we will look at it uh, later, since we'll actually uh, be playing with this toy. And they also um, uh, take a detailed look at the features. As you can see, it says long range missile launcher. So I wonder what they mean by long range, like couple hundred or even a thousand miles of a bear's back. That's funny. Um, you can see the prototype is, is pretty similar to the fi final toy actually. It looks, re looks really, really good. And uh, yeah, certain poses may require hand support and that's true. As uh, I will be able to show you. And here uh, it does so some of the other sets. I can remember the one with the eagle, that was also really cool, although I didn't own it. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, this set released in 1999, actually, and obviously it came with a retail price of 69.95 in the US, so this the second, second X-Men series was available in the US, but it never got as popular there uh, like in Europe. It was really, really popular in Europe. I uh, can personally confirm. I remember this time very really well in the late uh, 1990s. Now, these toys really were highly popular here. And I'm not going to unbox this set since I actually am... Um, but another loose one, since um, this toy is still fairly easily um, available on eBay, especially on the uh, British eBay, on eBay UK, you can still find um, the loose set pretty easily that contains the action man figure and the bear. And make sure when you buy it, if you uh, actually intend to play with it, that it comes with at least one missile. Uh, these uh, get lost very easily in fact or in video production. I lost two of them because they uh, fly that far when you uh, shoot them off. So take good care and of course do not aim at any living objects. So, okay, what do we have here? It's the bear and the action man. Take a look at the bear first. Uh, the face is really, really, I'd say it's really accurate, really, really cool. I did a lot of effort into uh, molding the whole piece. As you can see, uh, each and every uh, piece of fur is pretty detailed and the face it's a pretty aggressive face with a wide open mouth and uh, uh, teeth in it and the eyes I think look uh, great as well. I've got, got a black nose and 
the whole bear is molded so there's no uh, points of articulation uh, nothing you can you can take off either it's all uh, one piece you cannot take off the uh, uh, missile launcher uh, I can see this uh, left uh, front paw and the right back also really really cool and uh, I, I really like how they um, integrated the animatronics the, uh, the wheels and stuff so it's hardly visible when you have to bear uh, then you like this and before you can start, you will need to install batteries. Um, as for the bear goes, there are four AA batteries in its back. And you can find the screw to open the battery compartment down here. Uh, make sure you um, get the right screw. Um, it's the screw that's on the uh, little uh, uh, black strap that you will need to untighten to open the battery compartment. Um, uh, this um, battery compartment door is a bit tricky to uh, to open and close since it's uh, it's a very complicated mold that adapts to the uh, uh, right uh, rear foot, and then we take. A look at the action man figure. I said this is a classic 12 inch figure. Uh, take a look. The head can turn left to right. And he's featuring a hat with a communications unit, kind of like a headset. And uh, the entire upper body is molded. Uh, you can see a protective glove on uh, this arm and a molded hand here, which is not possible. And then he's got a belt and fabric pants that you actually can take off, as well as the shoes. These uh, also come off. And at least the knees are, are uh, possible. And it's also, of course, also got um, uh, uh, hip points. So this is uh, pretty cool. So the pants ever get dirty, you can easily take them off and uh, clean them by hand, of course. Uh, take a look at the back. Nice little detail with uh, two feet on his belt. <laughs> That's really cute. Uh, of course these are intended for the bear and the battery compartment is uh, in his back so to access the screw you will need to uh, uh, remove his rubber belt and take a crosshead screwdriver and unscrew the battery compartment door and this figure takes a 9 volt battery uh, 9 volt batteries have become really, really rare during uh, the past two decades. In fact, I haven't uh, seen a toy using 9 volt batteries um, uh, in the 2000s. It uh, was pretty popular in the 90s, I remember. Uh, my first Jurassic Park T-Rex, uh, uh, the big one from 1993, the Red Rex, uh, uh, operated its sounds with a 9 volt battery as well. and. Same is true for this figure. So, but thankfully, 9 volt block batteries are still pretty easy to find. Okay, so when you have the batteries installed, uh, don't forget to turn on the bear using the black switch at its bottom. There's only a zero, uh, 0 and 1 position on and off, so pretty easy to understand. And then make sure you operate this toy on a hard flat surface as you can see. The wheels are pretty pretty small so it will only operate properly uh, on a surface like this. Unlike um, 
was shown here uh, on the rough terrain. Of course, that won't work. It won't work as seen in the commercial either. Um, let's see how this toy works. Um, there are three compartments for the three missiles, but only the one on the very left uh, will actually uh, will actually launch the missile. The other two are for the spare missiles. So to operate this toy, you will need the Axeman figure, since that uh, doubles as the remote control and it basically works by lifting up Axeman's left arm. If you lift the arm up halfway, the bear will go forward and if you lift it up uh, all the way, uh, up in the air, um, the bear will make a, a left-hand turn. I'm going to show you this. See, halfway up, the bear goes forward. And, and to make a turn, you lift the arm up all the way. Now to fire off the missile, you will need to put the X-Men logo button on his chest. I really like how they integrated this button into their figure. And when you do that, make sure that you do not aim at any living object since this missile flies pretty far. Um, I'm going to show you how this um, works. Okay, so this works pretty well, although uh, sometimes you have to uh, uh, try several times uh, by uh, reinserting the missile if it doesn't uh, fire off uh, right away. Um, they go pretty far, actually they flew across the room uh, 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 more than uh, like uh, four to five feet, oh, over one meter. So um, really take care that you do not lose uh, um, uh, these missiles. They get lost pretty easily because they uh, really uh, fly with a big energy and with a great speed. So just be sure that you are careful while playing. Well, I have to say this is a pretty, it's a pretty fun toy. And I really, uh, I'd love to talk to the designers of this who came up with this uh, idea. I mean, uh, again, a bear with a long-range missile launcher on its back and batteries in its butt. This is uh, that's beyond bizarre. Uh, I'm going to show you once more how this bear is working. Uh, it's pretty hard to um, uh, control the bear exactly, so especially when doing turns, it's hard to stop at the right moment. It, it's a little bit turkey, but uh, with a bit of practice, it works pretty well. And I really like that the servo motor that was used isn't actually too loud. I've seen... Uh, 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 radio controlled toys that are much worse, much louder. Uh, this bear is, is pretty decent. And the batteries last for quite a long time. Uh, if the bear doesn't immediately respond, just try uh, switching it off and then turning it on again. Okay. 
So yeah, I think that's that's about it for this toy. You can still find the box version every now and then on eBay for about 80 to 120 dollars. In the meantime, so it has increased a little bit on value. But the, if you happen to find it loose with uh, only the uh, figure and the bear, um, then uh, you only have to pay a couple pounds, a couple euros or a couple dollars if you happen to find it uh, much, much uh, less than the retail value. And make sure it will come with at least one missile to get the full uh, playtime experience that this toy was intended for. And with that being said, um, I'd love to hear from you, if you, uh, from my viewers, um, did you own any Action Man toy from, from the 1990s? Can you remember them? From back then, I'd love to hear uh, what kind of action man sets uh, did you own. Uh, wasn't a big collector, but uh, of course back then these were uh, simply children's toys to me, and uh, I happened to grow up with some of these. And uh, I recently uh, uh, bought this again, so this isn't original from my childhood. I uh, uh, saw it on eBay and uh, decided to to buy it again, and this was also a recent eBay purchase to lose set. Uh, it's pretty cool to have something uh, from my childhood back. So, with that being said, that's all for this episode of Kitwana's Toys, and I'll see you next weekend. Goodbye.